Hey, and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play. This is The Room 2, a game by Fireproof Studios. Unique events transport you to the halls of a long forgotten crypt. The only means of escape lies locked in the stone pedestal. Along with a note from your mysterious ally, his words promise assistance but only serve to entice you into a compelling world of mystery and exploration. So it's a bit of a horror-ish game, I'm assuming, which, you know, fits the whole spooktober thing, I guess. I'm not a, really a man for jump scares, um, not without a proper build-up at least, so... Um, that's why I've decided on this, which hopefully doesn't rely on jump scares to create its atmosphere. Um, as usual, I am playing this blind. And as a fair warning, if this looks like something that would interest you, you might want to stop watching and go play the game for yourself. Anyway, I got everything set up, so um, all that's left to do first now is just click new game, I guess. Click to begin. I think I can do that. We can drag a mouse to look around. Oh, actually, I have quite a lot of uh, movement for ourselves. Double click on the note to focus. We can drag to open the note. Okay, if I should not correct this, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome, friend. You have much to share. Now you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passion might be passage might be shorter than mine. I'm forced to conceive it somewhere in this room and trust in your wits to uncover it. I'm not the only ghost in this place. Maybe I piece in the inventory. The lens is broken. Alright. So I'm further to view the rest of the room. Yeah, yeah, got a vent or a window over to there. Not much else to see. Double click the round box. I guess I'll just follow the <coughs> tutorial. Puzzle looks like some of the objects can be moved. Simple click and drag stuff, alright. Alright. So we're gonna have to combine these two, I would imagine. This looks like it would fit the eyepiece. No, it happens automatically. Cool. Click to where the eyepiece. Ooh. Sometimes that piece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Right. Small piece of shaped metal. To try to find where this piece can be used. Explore the room. I imagine it's probably in this thing, right? Probably just basically shit pieces. Yeah, this is where they need to go. Do we click and drag to try and use those? Yeah, there we go. Looks like another piece is still missing. I guess I'm gonna just take that one out and put it in that one. Alright. So we're left to our own wits now. Okay. Southeast, southwest, north. Sesswin, if you want.
so we can't do that yet. Alright. We found some more stuff though. So I'm pretty sure at this point you already know if this is going to be something interesting for you or not. Question about what hood low and has available. It's going to save from the options menu. I'm going to try not to use them. But if I do get stuck then. Twenty third October nineteen eighty three. Mr. Rigby, suffice to say that you do not share my colleague's faith in your character. But were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking the grave robber into our service chills my stomach, but as Mr. de Montfaucon is fond of saying, needs must as the devil derives. Pause to me then to brief you in your ungodly task, and you should be well aware you shall only be paid Upon your successful return with the artifact, do you find yourself having any ideas? Otherwise, I must stress to you that while the artifact is of enormous value, <coughs> it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes of hands or hands of an uneducated man as yourself, and I conditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power. I should not be interfered by it. Inferior minds. Well, that doesn't help. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that allows us to go to this table, slot the other thing in. There we go, that'll make it easier to get that thing out. A strange brass sphere. Looks like it belongs somewhere. Yeah, probably in this thing. <laughs> uh, can I check that note from here? No. Ooh, no. Yeah, I know where the code is hidden, but I need to. I'm just gonna get a sticky note. No, I can't. Oh, right, I got a notepad. Like an actual notepad. With a pen to boot. It's amazing. For all my researching stuff. So, S E. S W N. <clears throat> All right, so nothing. Uh, south, east, south, west. Medallion. Looks interesting to take a closer look. Yeah, you probably should. Wonder if anything matches the shape. Mm. Nothing at the back. All right, so we're looking for something that we can put a square in. Nothing here. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
I have to notch those down, I will. Might not be important, but... Looks like a guy who was about to rip his head off. Hi. to be relevant to me? Oh. There we go. That's what we need to do, right? Complete. I'm not too much from the crypt sound of both mind and spirit, and I fear this is only the beginning of our trials. Cool. Tell you what, why don't we just end the first episode here? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series for free, so it's probably coming like you know something fun already. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.